Hey friends, oh, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. Today we are continuing my inventory and declutter series of my makeup, and I have something interesting to show you. This is a category I have never filmed before, but today we're going to look at my collectibles. These are makeup items that I do not consider part of my actual makeup inventory because they're different. Um, you know, I'm never going to use them as makeup. They are collector's items from different collabs. And I just thought it would be interesting to show you all what I have. So let's go ahead and get into it. This is a rather random category for me. This is something I don't normally show you guys as my collection, but this is stuff that I purchased sort of just as memorabilia, mementos, I don't know. So these are collab collections, I guess. Um, so this is the Clueless Times Revolution collaboration and I think I have used this palette or no it's still in the box but this is the Thai palette and I love Thai I love Brittany Murphy so I had to have this yeah that is untouched yes that's untouched um this is the bag the cute little headband and clippies, the lip gloss with the poof, and then the larger palette that looks just like the VHS did when I was a kid. I watched this movie so many times, you guys, so many. Uh, I basically had it memorized for a while. So this is what the palette looks like inside. Super cute, as if. It's not really shades that I care about, but they are shades that remind me of the movie. Um, obviously the yellow for her plaid, the pinks, um, the purple, she wore some purple pants <laughs> in the movie. Um, so yeah, it's just an item I keep for nostalgia. All right, this one's a little big for the camera, but this is my Clueless Times Hip Dot collection. Yes, I had to have both collections. This one actually came out first. Um, so this is cute. It looks like Cher's locker. And oh, what's up on this side? Um, so the palette I do use. So that's why it's not in here. But we've got the cute pen. Um, <laughs> definitely not quite her pen. But they tried. Um, got some memorabilia, stickers, and a photo, the lippy kit, <laughs> those all fell out of place, but uh, yeah. Oh, that's upside down, actually. Okay, that one's a mess, but whatever. And then the face palette as well, that looks like a flip phone. And I did swatch this. And yeah, that's that. I have my Star Wars The Mandalorian uh, hand mirror. I do have the palettes as well, Baby Yoda and The Mandalorian, but those are going to be in my palette de uh, collection declutter. So it's a cute little guy. I have my ColourPop Hocus Pocus stuff. So these I keep in this box, <laughs> um, but... Again, the palettes will be in that declutter, but since I've already done my lippies and I forgot about these things and I did my face palettes, um, that's why these are going to be in here. Oh, the Billy Butcherson mascara I did use, um, but it was dried out, so that was disappointing, but I kept the box, apparently. So these are the lippies from the original Hocus Pocus collection. These are from the second collection, and this is from the third, which I did not get as much of. I got the palette, but yeah, these are mostly lippies. I'm not going to pull them all out. The mirror, the black flame candle, and 
these are kept for nostalgia so they don't get used. All right, I've got this Pac-Man kit. Again, the palette is in my palette collection, um, but I did buy this because I thought it was adorable and it was on sale when I was first getting into makeup. Obviously, lip colors I will never wear. These I would use, but I don't want to open this. I don't know. I'm not really like a memorabilia person, but it's cute. The Glam Light Hershey's Milk Chocolate Collection. Again, I'm not going to pull them all out, but I have the uh, Milk Chocolate Palette, the Cookies and Cream Highlighter, the Milk Chocolate Face and Body Bronzer, and the Lip Kit. And these really just haven't been touched since I bought them. Elf Times Duncan. Yeah, I bought this. I did. And did I ever do anything with it? No. I also bought a set of the uh, Bite Size palettes, and those haven't been used either. Um, but there's another set in here. So it came with the cup, which I just thought was really cool. Um, cute little straw in there. And then this is the entire collection. And as you can see, I have not opened it. So it looks like a Duncan bag. Apparently there was like a somewhat hard to find makeup bag as well. Not this paper thing, but a real makeup bag. Never saw it myself, but yeah, this was $75. I'm considering selling this on my Poshmark. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't even like Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> And then I also have the Wet n Wild Stitch collection, Lilo and Stitch. So this has a couple layers to it. So we have the eyeshadow palette. There is a glitter in there and it has imprints, which I love. Also have the face palette, Hula Honey, and a few cute little lippies. And then we have a setting spray. <laughs> this is so cute. The sponge with the little, um, gosh, surfboard. <laughs> it just took me 10 minutes to remember the word surfboard, but yeah, that's so cute. Uh, this is a scrub and then eyeliners and a mascara. Um, yeah. This is another collection like I don't really need. I love Stitch. I do. Do I need the whole thing? No. But I own it. I purchased it. And it's cute. I love the box too. It's adorable. Very colorful. Last up is the Melt Times Bailey Sarian Fatally Yours Collection. I am a stan for Bailey. I just love her so much. This was extremely overpriced, but I still had to have it. Um, so cute case. I love hearts and Bailey. <laughs> so I just went ahead and bought the whole collection and these, which were separate. So altogether, this was $200. This is not $200 worth of product. Uh, uh. But got stickers. Um, some little cards. Oh, Bailey's so pretty. She's beautiful. Um, I will say I was a little sad because in the palette, oh, there it goes. Yeah. So I did get a slightly messed up palette. Oh, I'm going to have to just take that out or it's going to ruin everything. Great. But yeah, it's slightly messed up. It is all matte. I love mattes. So I love that. It's grungy. Um, yeah, this side, not so much. This side, definitely me. <laughs> I'm so sad about that, guys. Oh, I wonder if I can save it. I'm going to save it. I put it in here so I can actually use that a little bit. But okay, that basically is all of my collector's memorabilia, I guess you would say. These are things I don't plan on using. Maybe I will someday, but I really don't plan to right now. 
Um, although I should use this, especially since it got messed up. All right, friends, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please remember to give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, you can always subscribe to my channel. And thank you so much for being here. I will see you all in my next video. Bye.